The United States intelligence has warned that an Iranian retaliatory attack on Israel is imminent. The warning comes days after a suspected Israeli strike on an Iranian mission in Damascus that killed at least 13, including seven high-ranking commanders. Now, Tehran has blamed Israel for the attack and has vowed to retaliate. On the other hand, the United States President Joe Biden has promised an ironclad support to Israel amid fears of Iranian retaliation. Though Israel has not publicly claimed responsibility for the attack, its military is now on high alert for possible attacks from Iran and its proxies in the region. We will now tell you which are these proxies in the West Asia region. Starting with the Lebanon-based Hezbollah, the group which has been designated as a terrorist organization by the United States is well funded by Iran. As per reports, it receives hundreds of millions of dollars in funding every year from Iran. The group is also well resourced with a fighting force estimated to be between 50,000 and 100,000. Moving on to Hamas, which took control of the Gaza Strip following elections in 2006. Iran is the militant group's biggest funder. The group launched a deadly surprise attack on Israel on 7th of October last year that ignited the current turmoil in the region. It is widely assumed that Iran could have some role behind the attack, though it has repeatedly denied it. Then there is Yemen's Houthi movement. It is officially known as Ansar Allah. The Houthis come from a branch of Shia Islam that ruled Yemen for centuries until the 1960s. Since 2014, they have waged a brutal civil war against Yemeni government forces backed by Saudi Arabia. And since the 7th of October, the Houthis have also carried out attacks on Israeli-linked shipping in the Red Sea. Moving on to the Iraqi armed groups. These groups are now very much a part of the Iraqi government security apparatus. They come under the umbrella of the popular mobilization forces, which includes more than 35 armed groups. Tehran provides training, weapon parts, technical, as well as strategic support to these groups. We then have the Syrian armed groups Iran has backed. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and has helped sustain the country's military forces. It also fields at least two militias in Syria. It is important to note here that Syria is also where Iranian-backed forces manufacture and store weapons which are then distributed to armed groups around the region. Since the Iran-Hamas war broke out, Israel has been a direct or indirect confrontation with Iranian proxies. The attack on the Iranian embassy in Damascus has been the biggest since the war broke out. It killed a top Iranian commander and other IRGC officials. In January this year, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps said five of its military advisors were also killed in an Israeli air raid on residential building in Damascus. While in December last year, a top Iranian military advisor was also killed in an alleged Israeli strike. Iran has also accused Israel of sabotage attacks that resulted in multiple explosions in a national gas pipeline, while an Israel-linked hacking group has also claimed responsibility for the cyber attack that crippled gas stations across Iran last year. Amidst the escalating tensions, Iran has given multiple warnings to Israel of a possible retaliation. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.